Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. In this video, I will be sharing Chatpat Tiffin Box recipe. Very quick and easy and also a Zabardast awesome mutton biryani which you can always try for this Eid. Now let's get started. This recipe is the same biryani recipe which I prepared for Eid and I told I will definitely share it. That is what it is. This is one and a half kg of mutton in that two handful of ginger garlic paste, one cup of yogurt, one tablespoon green chili paste, one teaspoon turmeric powder, one tablespoon of chili powder and nice handful of mint leaves ground with the help of little bit of water. And if you don't have green chili paste, mix green chilies with mint and grind it. And I am just going to add one full lemon juice. Don't discard those lemons. Keep it aside for later use. Also, I have added enough oil or ghee, anything of your choice. Nicely give it a good mix. All this is done previous day itself. When you are going to prepare biryani next day, prepare this mix previous day and keep it. This will be like just like that of marinating and giving nice meat tenderizer effect for the mutton. Next day morning, quickly I will share you an instant noodles recipe that is nothing but the angel hair pasta which will be like noodles only. I have taken nice good quantity of carrot, beans and corn. This combination is very nice in any pasta variety and salt and enough water so that all the ingredients get nicely soaked inside that much water. You can see in cooker, I am going to cook the pasta. Nobody will cook like this, but it works perfectly fine. That too in the morning hours when you want to send pasta. Very quick and very easy tip. Just in one steam off it and take it instantly off the flames. And, and release the flame also, steam also instantly. Because we don't want overcooked pasta, right? Like this, if you do, you will have perfectly well done pasta in just 10 minutes and 5 minutes for preparing this masala now. Nothing you can see, I am not going to add any fancy masalas and all. I don't have tomato paste, so I am using tomato ketchup and Thai chili sauce, turmeric powder, chili powder, little bit of taste maker, any Maggi masala or Maggi noodles packet is remaining. That also you can add in this. It will work perfectly fine. Finally, I have added little bit of pepper and all the boiled ingredients that is pasta and veggies together. If you are a chicken lover, you can also add boiled chicken or chicken pieces while putting it in the cooker itself. Now you can see nicely give it a good mix. Your noodles is very much ready. Pasta noodles is very much ready for the school tiffin box. Okay. First thing in the morning we do is for biryani is soaking the rice. I will be taking 5 large glasses of rice. This is the rice I always use India Gate Excel. Excel is very important. In India Gate itself you have premium, you have classic and many more options but Excel works perfectly fine no grains break grains are nice and long and it's a nice aged rice it is not promotional it is only my personal experience i'm sharing before i used to get india gate classic but more than classic the excel is very much nice that is why i have shifted to india gate excel first thing in the morning now i have nicely washed it and kept it for soaking Soak the rice at least for 1 hour to 2 hours. I have kept it for 2 hours. First, I am going to take now all the whole spices that is cardamom, cinnamon, clove, black cardamom, bay leaf and shahi zira. In a mix of oil and ghee together you can take but I have taken only oil. Nicely frying the onions is an important step until it is brown. First, I added all the whole spices. To that, I added the onions. Nicely brown it. Now, all the mutton which we marinated last night, right? That and little bit of tomatoes also. I am crushed and adding it. I am not adding anything whole. You can see green chilies, mint, tomatoes. Everything is crushed. 
so nicely fried and the oil oozes at this point i checked the salt and my spice level i was little bit low with it so i have added salt and a little bit of chili powder very important step all through the process is fry the onions nicely until brown and then after adding the mutton also nicely fry it then i have closed the pressure cooker that is our insta pot for 9 to 10 minutes which is more than enough in your cooker it will take approximately six whistles that's it meanwhile i prepared our um, raita also yogurt raita and little bit of salad also you know always any meal or any hearty meal i definitely go with the salad here in salad today as usual only uh, lettuce i am not going to add i have taken some peppers tomatoes cucumber nicely give it a saute this is nice vinaigrette like salad it is in this uh, seasoning i will add is no olive oil only salt pepper and vinegar until the mutton is getting cooked i have kept the water for preparing rice let the water come to boil until the water comes to boil i have already prepared my raita and salad you can see most of the work is now done always remember add the rice when the water comes to boil that way you will not go wrong after adding the rice i will add few more spices enough salt according to the requirement of your water level and now i will be adding little bit of shahi zeera pepper little bit of garam masala and a little bit of oil and i told you to save these lemons right this lemon also will give nice flavor in the rice just when the rice starts to boil off it that is halfway done is more than enough Okay, we will be having lot of gravy in our mutton masala today. That is why half we done. Fifty percent only I cooked because there is lot of liquid in the mutton that will also help the rice cook. Now let's prepare few ingredients for layering. This is a very interesting step. Always while preparing biryani, layering the biryani. This pot is very very nice for me. It is nothing but turkey roast. tray which comes with the stand also in it but i bought it for purposely making dum biryani only it's very heavy non stick nice 7 years old you can see still it looks new always whenever i have to make large quantity biryani this only i use you can see down i have given nice good layer of mutton all the mutton i have just layered down only the masala i have kept some masala i poured and some masala i still have in the pot i have given one good layer of rice just now at this point you can discard all those lemons which were already in the rice but i am keeping it because i eat them also i love to munch in between otherwise this is the way it goes see now i have just layered all the cut which we have kept and the powder which i am adding here is garam masala and nutmeg powder very flavorful now you can see little bit of masala also i give in the layer two colors i am using orange and yellow on two sides i have put two colors both i will just mix match and give layer in between this way you can give multiple layers or one single layer itself it is your choice again after giving all this food color and all i have some more masala left that i will give another layer now again same layering i will be doing the leftover masala along with that uh, the lemon onions coriander mint and the same garam masala but now here what i will add is ghee all through the process you would have seen i didn't use ghee at all at the end on top all the ghee will melt as it is on dum when the masala from the bottom get cooks the steam will just pull all that ghee from on the top and again i'm giving one more layer of the garam masala and nutmeg powder and this is nothing but saffron milk very good flavoring flavoring in the biryani and nicely frying in the beginning while preparing mutton are the key for making perfect biryani if you have big pot with lid it will work perfectly fine even if you don't have oven you can make it on the stove top but i have oven i have this kind of nice big turkey roast tray 
which works perfectly fine for me. I baked it at 350 degree Fahrenheit for just only 30 minutes. You can see now our biryani is very much ready, hot and steaming. Leave it for half an hour. Even if you leave for half an hour and open, you will see this much steam is coming out. After half an hour only, you should flip flap the biryani. Otherwise, all the grains might break. That is also one more key for keeping all the grains, that is rice, nice and long. Now it's time to serve the steaming hot biryani by the side of raita and salad. Extremely juicy and soft mutton. I used goat leg pieces which are very very soft and full of meat. Definitely try making mutton biryani the way I have made. You will end up making extremely tasty and delicious biryani and you will get loads of compliments too. Hope you all like this video. If you like my video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Live tasty, be happy.